So, and then we'll evaluate for f of, uh, at x equals 0. So we're going to find the first derivative at the value of x. In this case, here's my expression at x equals 0. So I'll just do dy over dx. I notice that this is um, a quotient rule. So therefore, I basically have 1, uh, one plus cosine of x times f prime of x minus f of x times the uh, derivative of 1 plus cosine of x, which is negative sine of x, all over 1 plus cosine of x squared. And now, basically, what I'm doing is I'm evaluating at, at, at x equals 0. So let's actually write that notation-wise, if you like, such that x equals 0. So therefore, that basically looks like this, 1 plus cosine of 0 times f prime of 0 minus f of 0 times negative sine of 0 all over 1 plus cosine of 0 squared. There you go. I added an extra step for you. I didn't show this step in the second one, but hopefully you guys understand now you find your derivative, and then you find it at 0. Now, it's important, again, by using this table, we know what f prime of 0 is, and we know what f of 0 is. All right. So I'm going to kind of work through these, though, a little bit um, in my head, or at least explain them out. OK, so cosine of 0, if you think about that on the unit circle, cosine of 0, that's 1 times 0. So that's going to be 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. f prime of 0. So we go to f prime at 0 is negative 2. And then we do f minus f of 0, which is going to be here. f of 0 is 9. A negative sine of 0. Well, the sine value at 0 is 0. Negative 0 is just still 0. And that's all over um, 1 plus cosine of 0 is, again, 1. So that's going to be one, uh, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 9 minus 0 is obviously 0. So therefore, I have a negative 4 over 4, which equals negative 1. Okay. Is that? 